Hey guys, it's me Tomas here, and today I'm back with another video, and today I'm here with another episode of my favorite steam locomotive. Now I know, I know, I haven't done one of these since February of 2022, but I'm finally, but, but it's finally back this series. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about an engine that, an engine that, that you guys were waiting for. Yep, that's right. Today we're going to be talking about Cotton Belt number 819. So let's get started. Cotton belt, cotton belt number 819 is a L1 class 4A4 Northern built by, the, built by the railroad's own Pine Bluff, Arkansas shops in 1942 and entered service in 1943. And it, and, it was the, and it was the last steam locomotive ever built for the St. Louis Southwestern, better known as the Cotton Belt Route. 819 was mainly used for was mainly used for freight service and passenger service until its retirement in 1953. In 1955, the locomotive was donated to the city of Pine Bluff uh, and put on display at at Oakland Park uh, for 23 years. Sadly, the lo during not during its time on display, it, it was subjected to the element to the weather elements and vandals, oh, oh, and it and it became a mirror shell of its former self. Thankfully, in 1983, he, he, luck would turn in favor of the locomotive when, when the newly formed Cotton Belt Rail Historical Society leased the locomotive with the intent to restore it to operational condition for excursion service. And in 1986, the 819 was back in operation and ready for excursion service, and it pulled many excursion, many excursions, and, and, and for the for the. With the society and the state of Pine, uh, in the state of Arkansas, uh, uh, and ran many excursions during the night the during the nineteen eighties and nineteen nineties. In in that in nineteen ninety, the eight nineteen traveled to St. Louis, Missouri, to participate in that year's National Railway Historical Society convention, along with Union al along with along with Frisco fifteen twenty two, Union Pacific number eight forty four. And Norfolk and Western number twelve eighteen. After that, eight nineteen imposed many other excursions until nineteen ninety three, when it when it made its last run on an excursion trip from Pine Bluff to Tyler, Texas, and back. Afterwards, the eight nineteen was stored back at the Pine Bluff of Shops, now home of the Arkansas Railroad Museum. Now there were, were plans to restore the engine back to operating condition. But it was, it was found out that the that due to very little funding, the restoration of 819 was very slow. Oh, until uh, until oh, the the restoration came to a halt due to to very little funding, and so they had to the restoration of the 819 came became went from a from a full restoration to operation to a cosmetic restoration to in into to display. At, and and. And, and that restoration, and that cosmetic restoration, still continues to this day. But all hope is not lost for the A19, even the, because the Arkansas Railroad Museum and and the and the state of Arkansas will will will, will do what they can will, will do their best as in what they can to 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 keep the locomotive in good condition. And to restore it back to operational condition in the in the in in the in the not too distant future, very soon, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I I know I I know. Once again, I know. Oh, I know. I know. It it almost took like forever, but yeah, I think I, I should finally be back on track with this series, hopefully. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Later.